Yo, Yo, good morning everybody. Welcome back to another vlog here from Morocco. If you're new to the channel, we're Peter and Yin, travel vloggers from New Zealand. It's a pretty early start for us yes. today because <laughs> we're heading over to a popular destination called the Ozord Waterfalls. It's about two and a half to three hours away from Marrakesh. And uh, to make things easier for us, we are actually joined a group tour. So we're going to head over to the meeting point now. Yes. But before we go, there's the um, stalk that's just <laughs> on the neighboring roof of this riyadh that distance. we're at. I just yeah. want to show you guys that too. <laughs> Let's, Let's head on out. Look at that. Just over our riyadh, there's a nest full of stalks. That is so cool. The activity today costs us 45 New Zealand dollars per person and we're just waiting at the meeting point which is right outside our Riyadh. Our Riyadh doesn't actually have road access, a lot of them don't and so we just come outside and onto the main road and just wait, Yeah, nice which is pretty easy. convenient. Peter's gotten me some Pringles because I get motion sickness sometimes. So. Yeah, breakfast of champions. Yeah, I just need something <laughs> salty. <laughs> Feels like we are in the middle of nowhere and we are at a random petrol station. How are you going over there, buddy? Hello. I just got up from a nap on our tour bus. <laughs> We've stopped for about a 15 minute short break so people can use the toilets, uh, stop off at a cafe, that sort of thing. And then I believe it's about another hour or more before we get to the falls. Okay, almost there. Yeah. just arrived and we're actually meeting up with a whole bunch of other bands that have also arrived at around about the same time and we're splitting up between the English speaking groups and the French speaking groups. A short walk away from the car park we passed some olive trees and then have arrived here at the Ozod waterfalls they are supposed to be the most spectacular and tallest waterfall in North Africa and it is quite a lovely sight to see especially after having been in the city quite a bit this whole time that's beautiful good to be out in nature the falls are hundred and ten meters tall or that's about 360 feet very nice, it's a good cool weather as well. Much better view from this side. We were just over there before and then curved around the edge here and you can get quite close to the edge obviously just be careful where you're walking and standing but it is very pretty seeing those falls plunging down to the earth below so back home in new zealand we are very used to amazing waterfalls and back there though it's a lot more green here you've got the very cool contrast with that reddish brownish yeah, it's quite different. earth yeah it adds like a very nice different element to it it's very dramatic a guy just said that that is a five-star hotel up there. We got a fantastic view of the waterfall, just right down there, and also of the valley. Try to vomit, you can spill this one. <laughs> <laughs> the 
continue with the tour, we just learned the difference between the Arabic language as well as the Berber language. And Berbers are the native people of Morocco. They normally live in the Atlas Mountains or the Sahara Desert or Shep Shayan. And we got shown um, some of the argan ore production here. The ladies take, I think it was 10 to 15 hours to grind one, one liter of argan ore, which is a lot of work. It really is and it's all done by a cooperative here. You, there is a little store where you can buy them but there's no pressure to buy them. Yeah, which is great. And uh, we heard also that the quality of the cooperative Argan oil is a lot better than the ones that you might get in the soups. Soups and things, yeah, and that's because it's handmade. Yeah. Handmade's the best quality for oil. <laughs> another little stop point here and it's another 15 minute break to just rehydrate and use the bathroom and I'd say we're probably about the midway point now because we can look down and see where the water is and the boats and we've got a pretty awesome view of the waterfalls from this part here too. In terms of how difficult is the walk I'd say probably relatively easy especially if you're used to hikes and walks and that sort of thing. Um, I wore sneakers, most people are recommended to wear footwear. Peter of course being a true Kiwi bloke <laughs> has come in his jandals or you guys might know them as flip flops and sandals but that's because you know in New Zealand guys grow up wearing that and they're really used to it especially for you know walks like this where it's a lot easier it's not super rocky or all that difficult and there's even some parts where it's uh, stepped so pretty easy I'd say after this I believe we're going to get some lunch so quite looking forward to that because I'm starting to get a little hungry. <laughs> oh, I guess it's time for the boat ride actually. <laughs> Yeah, go on. Okay. We're on the boat. I do notice the seat is damp, so I think we may go under the floor a little bit, eh? Uh, yes, I think so. Oily's quite close to it. <laughs> Look at all the boats out here. And there's a yen. Man, that is such a nice waterfall, eh, bud? It is really, really cool from down here. The view with that different perspective, it looks amazing. <laughs> it looks very majestic with all that greenery against that red earth. Yeah, I like wow. seeing all the birds flying around too. Almost Jurassic, eh? Yeah, it is. Right under the waterfall now, getting a good amount of sprayage. So refreshing. Lovely. Oh. Woo. isn't included in our day trip price but um, you get a couple of choices for the main so there was a vegetarian uh, chicken tagine which is what I got or chicken skewers which is what Peter's got and it's very nice that we've got shade we're sheltered from the sun here dishes have just arrived nice and hot you can see these giant slabs of potato with my tagine Ooh. the smell of the carrots too Oh, that's a very flavorful. Oh. <laughs> Hot. <laughs> mm, but delicious. You can taste all that slow cooking. The chicken meat just falls off. 
That's a very good tagine. I originally saw the tagine station and I was like, maybe I should get a tagine. And then I saw the kebab station and I was like, <laughs> I'm going to get a kebab instead. So that's what I've got that's here. That's because he knows you can steal some of mine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try some of this chicken out. Mm. I'm taste a little charcoal flavor in that chicken. It's very good. Also got some chips too. We're just going to polish these off and then uh, maybe see if we can find some monkeys somewhere around here. Yes, I believe we get to see them next. <laughs> scenic viewpoint and we've managed to find all the Barbarima keks. They're very cute monkeys. Oh, one just went by. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and our guide was telling us earlier that it's not a good idea to feed them and I totally agree with them and the main reason because as they get more accustomed to human feeding them, they lose that natural fear of humans that yeah. monkeys do have and so you do end up seeing them in places they shouldn't be like in, for example, in the main square in Marrakesh, which is no good. Also, you see them on the black market as pets. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, also another good thing to not do is to touch them because monkeys don't like to be touched by humans and they do tend to bite. Yeah, they're allowed to touch you, but you don't touch them. Yeah, very majestic looking monkeys here. These Barbary macaques are native to the Atlas Mountains here and they are wild. An interesting fact about them is that they over time evolved to lose their tails, so they're round monkeys. You can see they actually just have a very, very small stump that's like hidden underneath. And other really interesting fact about them is that they have large cheek pouches which can store as much food as their stomachs and they can save the food in there for later. <laughs> Pretty handy. Okay, I was just here and there's a monkey on my back now. You see? Oh, I don't know how that happened. Okay. Jen's got a monkey on her back. Yes, this one's trying to clean stuff in my hair. <laughs> <laughs> That is the end of our tour today, guys. Yeah, that time just flew by. It was such a super cool experience. I really loved getting really up close to that uh, waterfall. And we had this amazing boat rider who was also so good at doing photos and videos. <laughs> so thank you to our boat rider. Yeah, it was so much fun today. And I love getting all the unique angles of the waterfall. But that's going to be that. We're going to head back over to Marrakesh. Yes. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us those likes and subscribes. Yeah, leave us a comment. Comment. Please help share our video, that really helps our channel and we super appreciate it. We will catch you in the next vlog. See you everybody! Bye! Woohoo!